What's going on everyone? Today I want to do a little bit about the power consumption of my Raspberry Pi 4. It's now day 9 and I've got the results here so I thought I'd go over that with you guys so you can kind of see the comparison difference of me running a Raspberry Pi versus running my main desktop over here. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to bring up my little slide I guess and we'll have a look at the charts hopefully this actually screen records properly hopefully we get the full screen because that would be great if not i will have to re-record this so here's to hoping so power consumption day 9 results on the raspberry pi 4 desktop my previous results here now before i did a three hour test on a bunch of different uh, raspberry pi units here got my pi 2 with the mechanical drive i had I have a Pi 3 that was stock, and I had a Pi 3 B Plus with uh, three external drives connected to it. The tests that were run on the Raspberry Pi uh, were all on Ethernet, and Bluetooth was off. No overclocking was done. Uh, I watched roughly about 30 minutes of YouTube. I did the install and upgrade to the Raspberry Pis. I installed GIMP, Inkscape, Caden Live, Arduino, uh, web browsing. I did some of that. And games installed and played, I did Free Civ and PR Boom. And on my main PC, I did uh, the video watching on YouTube. Uh, gaming, I did League of Legends. Program use, uh, a few of my video editing programs you know random things i was just playing around like i usually would on it now i know uh now doing this uh secondary test with uh the raspberry pi 4 i really wish i had run these power consumption tests a lot longer because i get a better picture of the actual durational impact of it because even though the raspberry pi is idle overnight it's not consuming as much power. Yeah, I just find for my results here, it's for a quick three hour heavy use result. In 24 hours, if you were constantly using it like this, these are the results that you would acquire. Now, since I'm not using my Pi 4 all the time, I have to sleep at some time, it's getting, well, better results than I was expecting it to be on for 24 hours. So this is the meter that I'm using right now for testing my Raspberry Pi. Kumin uh, power consumption meter and it actually seems to be doing a fairly decent job. Okay, so as we can see my low is 11.2 watts on my main PC. Now this could be with just the both the monitors in hibernation mode and my speakers plugged in as well as whatever's drawing power from the computer to uh, have the USB ports in standby. I, I do believe because there's still power coming to a couple of the jacks on my main PC. I only have a 500 watt. I do a 550 watt power supply in the unit. My high is 446 watt and that's with uh, doing heavy well not heavy gaming but you know with uh, dual monitors running as well as you know YouTube going on one screen and and video games on the other multitasking all that fun stuff now the cost for one hour and this is off of heavy use remember if it's idle it's not going to be using as much but I'm averaging about three cents per hour which is pretty high when you look at some of these other units here that per hour is not even coming close to one cent not even half a cent I can do everything on my current PC as I can on the Raspberry Pi 4 mind you there is some things that do take longer because I don't have 24 gigs of RAM I only have 2 gigs of RAM on the Raspberry Pi 4 you do sacrifice some of that but after 9 days I'm actually quite impressed uh, that I didn't miss the power of my main PC as much as I thought I would have which is great because I've even in 9 days I've saved myself quite a substantial amount of money anyways if you haven't hit that like button make sure you hit that hit that subscribe button as well while you're there and uh, 
stay tuned we've got a lot more raspberry pi videos coming out as well as some more arduino ones so stay tuned so just a quick rundown uh, my main pc now outdated i have an msi motherboard in it an amd 8350 uh, CPU, uh, Corsair 860 uh, water cooler, 24 gigs of DDR3 RAM, a 240 gig Samsung Evo for my boot drive, a uh, Radeon R9270X 2 gigabyte uh, video card, 1 terabyte USB main drive where all my programs are installed on, and then I have my 4 terabyte USB backup drive. I have a 2.1 speaker setup with a 6 inch sub that I've modified for it. I've got the Grid Plus fan controller and three additional 120 millimeter fans. And then my dual monitors includes uh, the Sony 3D TV and a Dell older widescreen monitor. And I have the Logitech 510 keyboard as well as the G900 wireless mouse which is always plugged in by USB. Now for the Raspberry Pi, I just want to note that uh, the mixer, uh, the webcam, were originally a part of the main PC before being hooked up to the Raspberry Pi 4. Today is the first time I'm attempting to use my mixer for recording on here, so hopefully that sounds good. Uh, if not, I'm going to have to test something else out and yeah, we'll go from there. With my Raspberry Pi 4 desktop, my current setup as of September 20th, 2019, I have the Raspberry Pi 4 2 gigabyte model. I have a Raspberry Pi 3 case hacked up to fit the Raspberry Pi 4 fan, which may be being picked up by the microphone here. I have a 120 gig Kingston SSD drive as my boot slash main drive. I am not using the micro SD uh, except for backing up my OS here and there. I have a single monitor with built-in speakers. It's a ViewSonic VS1144. I have the Logitech 920 web camera that I'm using. The Behringer Q502 USB uh, with the newer NW700 microphone. I have an Insignia 5 volt 4 amp USB powered 2.0 hub and I have a Logitech K235 wireless keyboard and the Logitech M170 wireless mouse. So it's not that bad of a little setup and the fact that I'm able to make these videos here as well as be able to do my regular tasks, my Word documents, my, my office stuff as well. I do rely on Google Drive as well as other cloud-based services to be able to save my documents, upload a closer look after the nine days of uh, use on my Raspberry Pi 4 desktop. As you can see the kilowatt hours is substantially lower on the Raspberry Pi 4 desktop. My low is 0.1 watt and that could be just from a reboot. I might have had just the monitor turn off and back on. I'm not too sure. But if you look at the high I have a high of 446 watts on my PC and 34.4 watts on my Raspberry Pi 4 desktop. Now I do expect it to, to change here in a little bit as I do add more things, but I'm still well over 400 watts less in power consumption. And this is where we can actually see the difference. So if you look at the cost per nine days, here. So right here, and even on my meter, it showed me that it was uh, 32 cents that I used for power consumption over the last nine days. So that breaks it down to less than four cents a day. Whereas my main PC was using a whopping 72 cents per day on a 24 hour cycle. So the cost for nine days, six dollars and 48 cents for my main pc bottom two here are just estimates based on my nine day test and this for here is based on my three hour test so they're not a hundred percent accurate i am curious to see if i do reach this number by day 365 or how close to it and that will certainly tell me how reliable this cumin meter is so 262 dollars and 80 cents for my main pc for the year or 13 dollars and 14 cents 
for the year for my Raspberry Pi 4 desktop. My kilowatt hour price was 0 0.10 per kilowatt hour. So based on my results here, I find that the Raspberry Pi 4 definitely um, has changed my mind when it comes to single board computers being used for a day to day and uh, being able to do things like this, like me recording this and then I'll go on to edit it in Flowblade. I have more that I'll do on my actual setup here, but for now, um, yeah, it's just, I just wanted to kind of show you guys what it looked like after nine days of power consumption for that period versus running a, a bigger computer. Now, if you're not doing heavy video editing and gaming, things like that, then a Raspberry Pi is certainly an option to be able to do some of that. Even if you're just use, setting up office computers to run uh, Google Docs, stuff like that, it would also be a great alternative to that and still be able to web browse, use your email. As you can see, I'm not hiding anything while I'm recording this. You can see all the programs basically installed on here that I use and there's not much here that uh, I'm not I don't use on my main PC already so converting over to this has been really interesting and quite an adventure trying to get things to work as well I, I've gone through a bunch of programs and if you see it on my desktop it's probably because I actually use it. I think that uh, I've covered most of it. As you could see, uh, th that power consumption is pretty low and pretty awesome in my books. Uh, make sure you check the description below. I will have a link to my post on Element 14 as well, where you can see those images and a few other things uh, in my write-up there. So for now, that's it for me. So thank you for watching, everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?